Welcome and good evening. If everyone in the audience could please stand. Please join me in a spirit of contemplation between the heart and the mind. There is a connecting passage, not the kind that can be seen, but the kind that can be felt. For each person present here, I ask that passage be opened. There is a place in the midst of every gathering, around the people and within them, where the potential of individuals is joined and magnified. For this gathering, I ask that space be filled. Many paths have brought us here, many paths lead forward, but in this hour, we have a single aspiration, and we are grateful for the satisfaction and the camaraderie and the joy we feel. May those hallmarks of this occasion give rise to loving kindness. Amen. You may be seated. Good evening. Welcome to our spring 2023 graduation. On behalf of Galen College of Nursing, the Board of Directors, and our CEO, Mr. Mark Vogt, we take great pride in welcoming each of you to the spring 2023 commencement activities. We are here to recognize, acknowledge, and celebrate the magnificent achievements of each of these graduates. I would like to refer to the words you just heard in the invocation. The potential of the individual graduates here tonight is intensified and magnified. As we gather to celebrate their accomplishments and watch them go forth and do great things in healthcare. It has been a difficult journey through a pandemic that was filled with many challenges. And many of these students know what the pandemic was like as a student. Many paths have brought us to this celebration point tonight, and there will be many paths that lead you forward on your nursing journey. As we know, every graduate has reached this moment with the loving help of family members and friends. I would like for you all, all the graduates, to please stand and face your loved ones in the audience and give them a round of applause for all their support that they gave you. Now, who has that bell? Why aren't you ringing it? <laughs> you can sit back down. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure without your supporting families and friends, you all would not be here tonight. Another group of individuals who need to be recognized is the staff and faculty at Galen College of Nursing who made this night possible and who made your journey possible. We all benefit from their individual expertise, their words of wisdom, their encouragement, and their coaching that they all provided you on your journey. Thank you all for your dedication and commitment to the education of all of our graduates. There are a few things more exciting than a commencement, and we are so proud of all of you and what you have accomplished. We're excited tonight to share in your success and proud to be in your company. Commencement means a new beginning. This commencement is a celebration of your new beginning. While you close one chapter, you open a new one, and so many things await you in this new chapter. We are grateful to share your, your joy this evening. We are here as friends and new colleagues along your life journey because all of us should remember in mind and spirit that life is always about beginnings. So welcome, and welcome to helping us celebrate these graduates tonight. I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Nicole Horton, who will introduce the student speakers for the evening. The chosen speaker for our ADN two-year program option is Jennifer Williams. The chosen speaker for our ADN Advanced Standing Program option is Courtney Gustin. Yeah. 
And the chosen speaker for our BSN program option is Tyler Hopkins. Class of 2023, I'm gonna cry. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna cry. Um, welcome family, welcome friends, and welcome graduates. As graduates, we've made it to a place we were afraid of, unsure of, even refused to fathom. I chuckle because two years ago, I couldn't imagine representing my class as a nominated speaker. My humor and slight bursts of jokes have helped my classmates get through some hardest times here at Galen. I, I don't have any today, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have sacrificed our time, jobs, family, and personal agendas to get to this point, and for that we owe ourselves an applause. <laughs> Sometimes you have to go through it. You have to feel it, cry over it, hurt, burn, and even die a little, if you know what I mean. I know we have been through one or more of those throughout our time at Galen. Not everyone knows what we go through in nursing school. We are grasping for air, trying to hold on. I will say that this graduating class has been there for each other, building each other up. Transitions, nursing school being one of them, we are in survival mode in school. And now we are transitioning again into our career as nurses, which is a different survival mode. But with the knowledge and skills that we have now, I am hoping that this transition will be different than the previous. Transitions and changes can have, have an effect on our mental health. It does mine. We can go through so many emotions like sadness, depression, anxiety, worry, anger, and fear. But we have to remember this too shall pass. We've been through nothing, and we've been through it, and nothing can stop us. We have all grown significantly. There are places within you that no longer ache. There are triggers that you no longer trip over. We have come so far, and it's easy to lose sight of that when your eyes are already on the next thing. But sink into this moment. <laughs> Remember where you were and remember where you are now. The storms within you that used to rattle everything but are now quieter. I skipped a word. <laughs> <laughs> we have taken steps, steps forward and we need to acknowledge that. Be proud of yourself. Please be proud of yourself. I am proud of myself and I am proud of each and every one of you. This is a huge moment in all of our lives and I want to remember this feeling that I am having right now. We are about to walk into one of the best chapters of our lives. When things feel overwhelming, just remember one thought at a time, one task at a time, one day at a time. We have to stop being afraid of what could go wrong and start being excited about what could go right. The next season of my life will require new levels of courage, confidence, and consistency for me. No matter how I feel, I will not allow fear to hold me back. I wanted this and I deserve this. As you stand here today with your degree in hand, the greatest human adventure awaits you. Nursing is one of the most difficult and most rewarding professions to exist. As a nurse, you have the opportunity to be part of and witness the most intimate moments in, our li in their lives of individuals and families. You have the ability to change people and be changed forever. Speak positive words into your life every single day. Think big, think healing, think success, think happiness. We have all went through different, that's wrong, sorry. I leave you with the scripture, okay? Jeremiah 29, 11, I'm sure we've all heard it. We all know it. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Congratulations, class of 2023. <laughs> All right, everybody looks so nice. <laughs> All right, first off, I wanna thank God. He hasn't gave up on me yet. 
second off, give yourself a round of applause because we made it. <laughs> I paid too much for these eyelashes. <laughs> all right, we have accomplished the defeat of the, all the ATIs and all of the exams, especially those comprehensive ones. How exciting and truly something to be very proud of. We've spent the last few years cramming ourselves with all the knowledge we could to successfully obtain our degree. Some of us have children, some of us work, some of us had to cut back our hours at work and ride the struggle bus to persevere through school. And we finally made it. Bo Bennett once said, frustration, although quite painful at times, is a very positive and essential part of success. How many times were we frustrated? Yeah. We should be so proud of ourselves and confident that we can get through anything we want to accomplish. During my time at Galen, I've got to know and become close with many of you. Friendships were developed that will last beyond our time at Galen. Together we have studied, we have cried, we have stressed, we have laughed, but most importantly, we have pulled each other through and really lifted each other up. When any one of us were down with the obstacles up against us, we were not down for long because we came from a group of people that advocated for one another. We also had some amazing instructors that advocated for us as well. Ms. Coffey, Ms. Mitchell, I love you. <laughs> I do want to send a big thank you to the clinical instructors that opened doors for us to get into different specialty units. I also want to thank all of the theory instructors who showed patience with us as we were having full-blown panic attacks in the middle of class. Thank you. Our families and friends have also sacrificed alongside of us, and your love and support have not gone unnoticed, and we are immensely grateful for it. I can't wait to spend more time with my kids and celebrate the fact that I have worked hard to make a better life for them. I hope that I have set a good example for my kids to follow my footsteps and accomplish their goals in life. I feel like each one of us is on the road to success because I guarantee every single exam we took here at Galen overly prepared us for the NCLEX. And I know a lot of you have passed, okay? <laughs> I cannot wait to see those credentials at the end of my name because I'm waiting till the second week of May to take it. Um, being a nurse is one of the most rewarding careers. We will face adversity, but with our why etched deep inside us, we will never lose sight of our reason to face the adversity head on and be the nurse that makes a difference. It is truly an honor to be in a career where you can make a difference at the beginning and end of life and anywhere in between. Aristotle said, where the needs of the world and your talents cross, there lies your vocation. I know each one of us is going to go out and be amazing at whatever we decide to do in our nursing careers. I can't wait to run into you guys in the years to come and talk about how much more we have accomplished because we have so many opportunities laying at our feet. As they say, opportunity dances for those that are already on the dance floor and we have been waiting patiently for that first song to start. I'm going to miss all of you, but I'm very excited to never have to take another ATI exam with any of you ever again. <laughs> Here's to all of us finally becoming registered nurses. It's been one heck of a ride. Congratulations, you guys. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Dear graduates, professors, and honored guests, today we're celebrating a major milestone in our lives. We're officially graduates of nursing school. And let's be real, that's no small feat. We've endured countless hours of studying, stress, stressful exams, and clinical rotations where you can't help but question how the school even allows you to take care of other human beings. But despite all of this, we made it through, and that's something we're celebrating. So let's take a moment and give ourselves a round of applause. Now, I know we're all excited to get our diplomas and start our careers as nurses. But before we do that, I want to take a moment to reflect on the journey that brought us here. I think back to the first day of nursing school. We're all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready to conquer the world of healthcare. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into, but we were excited to learn and to grow. Fast forward a few months later, and we're knee deep in nursing textbooks, trying to memorize every medication, disease, and organ in the human body. 
And then came the clinical rotations, where we finally get a taste of what it's like to work in a hospital setting. We were also scared out of our minds. We didn't want to mess up, but at the same time, we didn't know what we were doing. Uh, so we relied on fellow classmates for support and guidance, and we somehow managed to survive. But let's not forget the lighter moments of nursing school, the moments that make it all worth it. Uh, I believe that nursing school creates a bond unlike any other. It's the kind of bond where you can go from talking about what score you need on the next test to pass the class to who's going to be uh, taking everybody's DoorDash orders. Uh, but most importantly, most importantly, let's remember the incredible individuals who supported us throughout the journey, our, prof our professors who never gave up on us even when we were ready to throw in the towel, our clinical instructors who patiently taught us new skills and provided guidance when we were unsure, and let's not forget our patients who taught us the importance of empathy, compassion, and patience. And of course, we wouldn't be here today without the love and support of our families and loved ones. My own family and friends have been so unbelievably important throughout this journey. I'm sure many of you can say the same. Uh, I would like to give a quick shout out to a couple special people who made this all possible for me. First to my amazing mom. I, I knew that part would get me. Uh, who inspired me to be a nurse, made all of this possible supported me throughout the entire process and was always there with a listening ear and a warm embrace. I couldn't have done this without you. And I can't forget about my lovely girlfriend, Kayla, who has been my rock and my saving grace throughout this entire process. She's kept me sane and motivated even when I wanted to give it all up. Kayla, you're my sunshine on a cloudy day and I couldn't have made it through nursing school without you. Uh, so as we close this chapter of our lives and enter the workforce as nurses, let's remember the lessons we've learned in nursing school. Let's remember to approach every patient with empathy and kindness, to never stop learning and growing, and to always have a sense of humor. In closing, I want to congratulate each and every one of you. This is a phenomenal accomplishment. We've worked hard, we've laughed, we've cried, but most importantly, we've grown. And I have no doubt that we will continue to grow and make a difference in the lives of our patients and community. Thank you and congratulations. And now it's time for the presentation of our student awards. The first, the Dr. Tracy Ortelli BSN Leadership Award. The Leadership in Nursing Award honors nationally recognized Dr. Tracy Ortelli, a leader in nursing education, role model, mentor, and scholar who has dedicated her professional career to advance the development and assessment of nursing curricula and the certification and recognition of nurse educators. Dr. Tracy Ortelli was instrumental in the initial development of the pre-licensure baccalaureate program for Galen College of Nursing. The Leadership in Nursing Award was created to recognize BSN students who demonstrate outstanding leadership qualities by inspiring others, exemplifying personal integrity, serving as a role model and advocate, and upholding Galen College of Nursing's eye care principles of inclusivity, character, accountability, respect, and excellence. The Dr. Tracy Ortelli Leadership Award for our BSN program goes to Abigail Baker.
Leadership refers to the ability of an individual to influence the behavior of others, often inspiring their peers to function at a higher level. The Katherine Mershon Emerging Leader Award will be presented to graduating students from each program option who exemplify the following traits. Ability to solve problems, critical thinking, respect for individual differences, active listening, skillful communication, clear goals and outcomes, and integrity. The Katherine Mershon Emerging Leader Award for our ADN two-year program goes to Emily Kelly. The Katherine Mershon Emerging Leader Award for our ADN Advanced Standing Program goes to Hannah Lingar. At Galen College of Nursing, we know there are certain intangible qualities that some nurses instinctively develop that truly set them apart from the rest. These qualities cannot be measured with an answer key or calculator like a test score, excuse me, a test score or grade point average. These qualities are more about human kindness, the human touch, more than a room number and a diagnosis. It's about making a patient feel singularly special. The qualities associated with the human touch include compassion and an understanding and acknowledgement of the feeling of patients, family, and fellow students. The Dr. Marjorie Perrin Human Touch Award winners are nominated by their fellow classmates. The Dr. Marjorie Perrin Human Touch Award for our BSN program goes to Samantha Mueller. The Dr. Marjorie Perrin Human Touch Award for the ADN two-year program goes to Marissa Allen.
And the Dr. Marjorie Perrin Human Touch Award for our ADN Advanced Standing Program goes to Jackie Johnson. Okay, we've now come to the part of our program where we need to award the diplomas. So we'll start with the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program first. Abigail Baker. <laughs> Dina Baker. Miriam De Young. Tyler Hopkins. <laughs> Christy Johnson. Sandra Cook. <laughs> Rebecca Kohak. Lindsay Likens. <laughs> Sarah. 
Samantha Mueller. Matthew Spaulding. <laughs> now there's a fan club. <laughs> Madov Subidi. Now we have those who are receiving their Associate of Science in Nursing degree. Marissa Allen. Keishel Bell. Samantha Brewer. <laughs> Myra. Cato Rosado. <laughs> Hannah Dig Miller. Alexis Dukes. <laughs> Amy. Akins. <laughs> Casey Elsesser.
Tess Enderly. Chelsea Flenner. <laughs> Tornisha. Foster. <laughs> Anita Gilmore. Brandy Gravit. <laughs> I think that one wins the cheer award. But we still have more to come. <laughs> Courtney, Courtney Gustin. Becca Haynes. <laughs> Nicole Hiller. Latasia Holt. Bato Hutton. Kenya Malone.
Jackie Jackson. Emily Kelly. <laughs> Tamara Larkin. Anna Lingar. Samantha May. Gilbert Musioki. <laughs> Mackenzie New Mangus. Tressa Randall. Olivia Rhodes. <laughs> Joshua Richter. Carissa Rogers. Yeah. 
Joshua Roth. Sarah Schroff. <laughs> Melissa Schubert. Andrea Simpson. <laughs> Crystal Smith. Kelsey Taylor. <laughs> Amber Vonderhaar. Allison Washburn. Jennifer Williams. <laughs> Nakira Williams. Okay, now one big round of applause for all of these graduates. We have a tradition in nursing education. It is called the ceremony of lights. Through the ceremony of lights, the passing of one flame to another signifies the passing of knowledge, 
and the acceptance of the responsibilities and the rights and obligations of the nursing profession. We offer our pledge in this ceremony. Graduates, will you please rise, face the audience, light your candles, and then join me and the faculty in reciting the nursing pledge. All right, are we ready? I solemnly pledge myself in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession with integrity. I will endeavor to maintain and elevate nursing standards both as science and art. I wholeheartedly recognize the importance of quality standards of care and of personal accountability. I will devote myself to the protection, healing, and welfare of those committed to my care. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and will respect the privacy of medical information. I accept a duty to work for the improvement of health in the communities in which I live and work. I will act with compassion in ethical matters. I will not take or knowingly administer any harmful substance. I commit to interdisciplinary collaboration and lifelong learning. I fully acknowledge the seriousness of responsibility integral to the nursing profession and the significance of the commitments I pledge today. You can all turn around and have a seat. Thank you. I told you last year I'd see you. <laughs> Hear now these words of benediction. Our moment together in this place is at its end. For every heart and for every mind, may some word or gesture linger from this time to other times and give peace and courage and the will to do good. Amen. Okay, well, as Ms. Longbottom said, we have come to the end of our program this evening. What I would like to ask is that when we're all finished and we're all processing out is that the audience please stay seated until the faculty and the graduates have all exited the area and then you can celebrate in the foyer. On behalf of the faculty and administrators, I congratulate you on this milestone in your life. We all wish you the very best in your future endeavors and career. And now on behalf of the Board of Directors of Galen College of Nursing and Mr. Mark Vogt, CEO of Galen, I proclaim you as grad graduates of Galen College of Nursing. If you'd like to stand, face the audience and turn your tassels to the other side of your hat. Parents, spouses, families, friends, faculty and staff, I present to all of you the April 2023 graduating class of Galen College of Nursing. Congratulations, graduates.